Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel once again. This is Tech PBA. So in this video tutorial, I am going to take you through how to transfer files, be it music, videos, pictures, documents, from your Android phones to your Windows PCs and vice versa. That is from Windows PC to your Android phones using a, an application called the file manager plus so let's get straight into it but guys before we continue kindly click on the subscribe button down this video to subscribe to my channel tech pba click on the like button if you enjoy what you will see in this video at the end of this video and go ahead and then share this video also to support us to bring you more of such videos so let's get straight into it before we continue on the phone there are some things we need to do on our windows pc in this case on our windows 10 pc before we get back on the phone so what we need to do is to go into the search box and then type cmd for the command prompt to pop up right click on the command prompt and then click on run as administrator click on the yes to accept the uac prompt and then in the command prompt we are going to create a local user account which we are going to use to set up the remote um, connection the remote transfer connection between the pc and then the android phone so the command to create the new local user account is the net space user space the the username we are adding to this system space the password which is abc123 um, for the purpose of this um, video i chose this um, simple password but in your case you can add a, a much more difficult uh, password and then space forward slash add which is the command that will actually add this user account to this pc so let's go ahead and then press enter to create the user to add the user and then the command says the command completed successfully so we can verify by going to control panel search control panel uh, click on control panel once control panel opens click on user accounts click on user accounts again and then click on manage another account you should see the user account that we just created um, in the control panel so once the user is added we are also going to create a folder um, on the desktop you can actually put it anywhere you want but i will place mine on the desktop and then i'll name it file transfer once your folder is created um i'll go ahead or once the folder is created i'll go ahead and right click on the folder go to properties and then on the properties window i'll click on the sharing tab and then i'll go ahead and i click on share and then in the share window click on this arrow down select the username that we just created and then click add and once the user is added go ahead and then click on this arrow down and select read rights and then once you select that click on the share button to share click on the done once you are done and then again go ahead and then select the advanced sharing select the share this folder box and then down here click on permissions and then click on add over here you're going to type the username that we just created so i'll go and then i'll go ahead and then type it quickly once you check that you've typed the username correctly go ahead and then select the check names for the pc to resolve the username for you with the host name or the name of the computer attached to it go ahead and then click ok and then select the user and then grant it full control click apply and then ok click apply ok and then click on the close button so once you have your shared folder created the next thing 
we are going to do is to check the IP address of this uh, PC because this is the IP address is, or this PC is going to serve as the, the server to transfer the files between this PC and then the the Android phone. So we need to check the IP address and we are going to use the IP address to set up the connection. So the the way to check the IP address is to type this command. So the command is IP config space the vertical key or the vertical character or the pipe character space find space IPv4. Hit enter once done. And in my case this is my IP address. The third one is my IP address. This is my IP address. This is the IP address I'm going to use to set up the connection. These other two IP addresses, IPv4 addresses, are virtual addresses with my, um, which I use with my um, VMware um, system. So once I know the IP address, I will go ahead and then set up the start the setup of the connection okay so now on the phone i will scroll down to see to open the google play store app and then in the google play store app i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and then search for the app that we are using for this tutorial which is called the file manager plus i'll search for it tap on it to install it I'll go ahead and tap on it. I'll tap on the one with the F in front of the folder. Tap on it to install. It shouldn't take, um, it should take a few minutes or a few seconds to finish the installation of the app. Now once the app is done installing, tap on the open to open the app. Tap next to accept privacy policy. Tap next to grant access requests tap allow to grant it and then once the app or the application is open we're going to go ahead and tap remote tap add a remote location and then tap local network tap manual inputs at the bottom of the screen and then we are going to type the ip address that we saw on the pc the ip address we looked up on the pc which is 192.168.0.139 in my case in your case it should be different and then we'll type the username that we added on the pc which is file transfer and type the password that we also added on the pc when we created that user account in the command prompt we'll type ok to connect to the folder on the PC and then as you can see we are connected to the file transfer shared folder on the PC and so now we are good to go from here I'm going to select a couple of pictures on this phone I'll select those two nice cars and then an image tap the more tap share and then I'll go ahead and then tap the file manager plus and then once I tap that I'll tap remote down there and then I'll tap on the server IP address and then tap on the file transfer folder which is the shared folder and then I'll tap save to save those pictures into that folder then now we will go ahead and then go move to the PC to indeed check that um, those files have been copied into that shared folder and then as I open it I can see that those three folders that we copied on the phone into that folder they are showing here on the PC as well so we can go ahead and then double click on them and then view them on this PC very nice cars BMW cars so as you can see those files we transferred those files from the phone to this pc without any cable but through the wi-fi connection that these two devices are connected on so from here i'm going to go ahead also and then copy items or media files from the pc onto the phone by selecting those music files 
I'll go ahead and copy them and then paste it in that same folder the file transfer shared folder and then from here I'll go move back to the phone and then right now it's not showing so I'll tap on the refresh to refresh the folder and then now you can see the, that the files that we copied onto, onto into the folder in or on the PC are also showing here successfully so the transfer is working on both ways we copied items from the phone to the pc we copied from pc to the phone and both ways are working perfectly so guys kindly click on the subscribe button down this video to subscribe to my channel tech pba click on the like button if you enjoyed watching this video share this video to support us to bring you more of such videos thank you and i will see you in another video Bye.